Football players in Grundy County still face aggravated rape charges. And tonight, we're learning what the school has done since the charges surfaced. James Torres was there for the meeting tonight. James, do we have any new answers? Yeah, Kim, we learned a few new things tonight. Where I'm standing right now is a gravel road. This road leads over to the field house. This is where the sheriff's office says uh, that uh, attempted aggravated rape happened. Now, if you take a look behind me, we have this gate here. There's a lock on it, a chain lock. That is normal. That's been there, and that prevents people from coming here after hours. What's new in this area are a bunch of these rocks right next to the gate. According to some school board members, they say that uh, people would drive their cars around this gate, and that's how they ended up getting access over to the field house after hours, but now with these rocks in place, they're hoping it'll help prevent that. One other thing you can't see behind me is the field house because it's a little far and it's a little dark. We're told that they now have cameras installed. That was there as of the Friday after the incident on October 13th. We're told that cameras are outside of the, the facility as well as inside, but there are no cameras in rooms that are meant for changing. So that would be the locker rooms or the restrooms. No cameras there. There are cameras instead inside of the weight room, inside the coach coach's office and uh, some rooms like that. One other thing to note, uh, we tried to speak to some of the school board members tonight after the meeting. Director of Schools Jesse Kinsey says they're trying to make it against school policy for any of those board members to talk to media members or serve as a spokesperson for the board. Therefore, uh, she did not allow them to speak to us tonight. We'll have a full wrap up on the meeting on our website. Plenty of topics that we talked about. That's going to be on newschannel9.com. That's the latest we have here in Grundy County. I'm James Torres. News Channel 9. All right, James, thank you. Well, tonight, the board was expected to discuss Director Jesse Kinsey as well, as James just said, but that didn't happen. Instead, there will be workshops to talk about Kinsey and alleged communications problems between her and the board. But on Monday, the board will be discussing the reports of missing concession stand money at the Grundy County High School football games. We'll also talk about the future of the program as the school searches for a new head coach.